Hey guys, welcome back. It's Stephanie here. And for this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet a bucket bag. And it's inspired by Game of Thrones since it ends this week. I'm so excited for the finale. Um, but it's going to be a bucket bag um, for, I guess, like Khaleesi. It's going to look like dragon scales all around it. It is called the Crocodile Stitch. Um, that we'll be making the um, dragon scales, but yeah, let's get into it. So this is the yarn that I'll be using. It's the Lily Sugar and Cream yarn, and it's 100% cotton. It's just a nice thick cotton yarn um, that will be sturdy enough for a purse. And then I'm also using this um, hook by Clover, and it's in the size K. And so to get started, we're gonna start by chaining three. Um, because the dragon scale, or, well, I like to call it the dragon scale stitch, but it's actually the crocodile stitch. Um, it's worked in groups of, like, six. So I'm going to chain three, and I'm just pulling through. And then I'm going to half double crochet two into each stitch. Um, it's kind of difficult because this is so small, but just half double crochet six, and then you will slip stitch into the beginning. I'm just going to slip stitch into that first one. Oops, slip stitch. Okay, so this is going to be the very center of the bottom of the bag. So we're starting from the center circle of the bag and then we're going to be working up. Just so you have like an idea of where we're going. So now we're going to half double crochet two into each of these six stitches so you will end up with 12 and you don't have to chain one or anything one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so I'll just slip stitch into here okay and then you're going to half double crochet in one and then two half double crochet in the next and then you're going to repeat that around so you're gonna half double crochet into that one that you also just um, slip stitched into. So one, two, three, 16, and 17, 18. Ugh. So I have 18 stitches. Actually, I'm not going to slip stitch into any of these because that slip stitch, you can see created another stitch in here this small one right here. So I'm just going to kind of ignore that one. So now I'm going to half double crochet into one, half double crochet into two, and crochet into the next one. So that I have two, three, four, 21, 22, 23, 24. You should start to see it making this circle and you're going to make it however big you want the bottom of your bag to be. Um, I don't know how big I'm going to make mine yet, but always make sure that you have multiples of six for your chains around. So I'm going to keep going with this. I think I'm going to um, do a few more rounds. I definitely want it to be a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to switch to double crochets instead of half double crochets. Um, just to see how it, I guess, works out because this might take a long time. So I am going to double crochet three and then two double crochet in the fourth one. You're going to repeat that around. Okay, so I finished up with that row of double crochet four and then two double crochet in the fifth stitch. So I have 36 stitches around, which is divisible by six. So I am going to stop um, increasing and I'm going to half double crochet for three rows just all the way around. And I'll meet you guys back here. So I half double crocheted three rows in they were all 36 single crochets each. So now I'm going to show you how to do the crocodile stitch. So 
Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys where I am right now in my work. That's kind of weird. Um, so I chained 155 chains for the strap and I attached it to like the other side. And then when I started to half double crochet back along that chain, I single crocheted into like the next stitch of where I was and then I just single crocheted across. But I'm not done yet, I just wanted to update you guys on where I am. So I'm just going to finish half double crocheting across and I will meet you guys back there at the beginning. So I'm getting to the end of this um, strap that I'm making. So I'm going to do the last few stitches on camera to show you how I'm attaching it. So I'm just going to continue half double crocheting. So I'm just going to do the last half double crochet. And then um, I'm just going to go right next to it where if I turn this on its side where it would basically be crocheted into next. So this isn't really a stitch or anything, but I'm going to make it a stitch by just going through it and then pulling through and then slipping that. Okay, so now we have, if this wasn't tangled, the hand bag strap up here. Don't mind all of this tangled mess. Now I'm going to just do a single um, crochet stitch all the way around and I'll show you how I do that because there are like these straps here now. Um, so I'm just going to kind of, I guess, go into stitches as I see them. Not really see them, but if you guys know what I mean, just anywhere where you think a stitch goes. It's kind of like um, when you're crocheting on a side that's not where the chains are and you have to, um, oh for example you're making a hat and you're doing the ribbing on it and you have to kind of make up where your stitches go but you can't put too many because then it'll be loose and then you can't put too little because then your work will just kind of come in like that. So what I'm doing, I'm going, I'm doing one on one side of the scale, just doing one, and then I'm going to go in the middle of the scale, and I'm going to go in the other side of the scale, just again wherever it kind of wants to go through, and then I'm going to do one in this V shape. I'm just kind of going through the V shape itself, not like on top. And so now I came to this point, and I kind of want this um, top piece that's going to be that's going to have the drawstring on it like inside of the strap so I'm just going to pull the strap back and kind of find a space in here pull through do the single crochet okay and then I'm just going to continue as normal okay now I reach this spot again I'm just going to kind of fold the strap back and then kind of put my needle through, do the single crochet. So now that I reached um, back to like the beginning of my work where I have that first single crochet, I'm just going to slip stitch through that. All right. And now I'm going to double crochet around uh, my work just for one row. And I'm also kind of making this pattern up as I go. so. I might add another row, not sure yet, but I'm going to chain two. I'm going to just double crochet. Okay, so I did one row of the double crochet, and then I'm going to do another row, uh, another two rows of half double crochet across and, well, all around, and I'll meet you back when I'm done with those two rows. Okay, so I did the two rows of um, half double crochet. And if you think that like the top portion of this is a little too long or tall, um, when I'm done with the video, you can always just do one of the half double crochet rows. Um, but now I'm going to do the part where the um, drawstring will be um, woven in between. And it's just like the previous video that I did on the um, floral crochet bikini top. It's the mesh stitch that I did on there. So I'm going to chain two, uh, wrap my hook or yarn over, skip one stitch, and double crochet into the next. So I'm going to chain two, 
wrap my hook, skip one stitch, and double crochet into the next. I'm going to chain two, yarn over, skip this stitch, and then double crochet into the next. And you're going to repeat the yarn over, chain two, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next um, until you reach the beginning of your work again. So I will meet you guys back there when I get there. Okay, so I made it back to the beginning of my work and I'm just going to go into this top stitch right here. I'm going to slip stitch, yarn over, then double crochet in here. So you're going to double crochet in between the mesh stitch. So I double crocheted in the mesh stitch and then I'm going to go into the stitch at the top of the double crochet and just double crochet in there. And you're going to repeat that around until you get to the beginning again. Okay, so I made it back to the beginning and I just bound off as usual. So I just have all these ends that I have to weave in. Um, and then I have the strings right here. So I made a chain that is 80 chains long. And I just wove it through to test the size and everything. And I like how long, I guess, they hang from the bag. And then when I pull it closed, I like how that length is as well. So now I'm going to do tassels for the ends of the bag. Um... Not the ends of the bag, but the drawstring. So I just took a piece off of a box of granola bars and I just cut it in half. So this is the long side and the length of this, like this way, is going to be how long you want the tassel to be. You can get any length, um, but I'm going to make mine about like two and a half, three inches long. I think this is about two and a half inches. 